I've always enjoyed um, helping people. People that really appreciated and, in, and enjoyed what I was doing for them. Oh, it's great. It's, um, job satisfaction oh, is probably the biggest thing. Like, you just know that you're making a difference with people with disabilities. You're good at potting, aren't you? Yeah. Definitely need to have that um, unique understanding of that person that has a disability to be able to see the person for who they are. All my needs and wants are exactly the same as anyone else, so I just do them a fair bit different. Just be willing to, to get out there in the community and help these people live at home rather than in hospital environments. You know, it makes a big difference to their lives. And it makes a big difference to, your, to yours as well in the end. As a support worker, your main role is to work with a person with a disability to assist them in some aspect of their daily life, including home, work, education, sport, recreation or social activities. Some people with disabilities need assistance with everyday daily living tasks. This means that working hours can be flexible and may cover any part of the 24-hour period any day of the week. Depending on your chosen area of employment, you're able to find work around your own life, including family and study commitments you may have. The work is never predictable. Every day you have to be ready to make adjustments to plans and respond to the changing needs of your clients. As a support worker you do try to have a routine and the, most of the people that I work for um, actually enjoy uh, living by their routine uh, and it is an important factor for any individual. You know sometimes things don't run on time. You just have to accommodate for that I mean, you know, things don't, don't always go to plan, especially in this profession. So you have to be the type of person that can do things on impulse and make decisions on impulse. Because it's all about um, getting it right at the time. People with disabilities have full and varied lives. So being a disability support worker is not just about helping people do the basics of daily living. It's about supporting them as they put their choices and abilities to the best possible use so they can develop positive skills, valued community roles and a balanced lifestyle. You might be supporting someone pursue educational goals or build their own career in whatever field they're suited to. Or you might be supporting someone to manage their home and make full use of their community's recreational and sporting facilities. I was doing more at work than I was in my normal social life. Going to the movies and going roller skating and just having a lot of fun. We're there to um, help them um, achieve everything that they can achieve. The main thing is you're helping that person to be who they are in a productive manner. I used to think, oh, I can't do this on my own, and I couldn't. I used to get a lot really stressed. Because it's really, really hard, and you really do need that help with care. Three, one, two, three. Inherently, they get on really well. She doesn't treat her like any different than she is. I think it's helped Tammy to come out of her cell. Tammy's a very shy person, but now she can go out and be independent. She'll come home and she'll say, oh, I saw this person down at the shopping centre today. And she never used to do that. She's really coming out of herself now and she's really more comfortable that nobody's just looking at her thinking, oh, she's in a wheelchair. She can't do anything for herself. But now 
she knows that, you know, she can do what everyone else can do. Whatever aspect of the work you're involved in, it will always be varied and interesting. Oh, okay, can you write your targets up for this morning? If you're supporting people with work, you may provide assistance with job hunting, training in job readiness skills, assistance to learn the duties of the position, or advocating for workplace modifications. Supporting people with their education might involve working directly with the student in the classroom or during work experience, or working indirectly to ensure accessibility for students with a disability in post-secondary education. If you're supporting people to access their community, you might be accompanying them as they try new hobbies or encouraging regular exercise to maintain their health. Supporting people within their home ranges from assisting with independent living in the community, whether they be living on their own, with their family, or within a group home with other people with disabilities. Care aiding can be very varied. It depends which area of care aiding you go into. You might help them organise their budgeting, medical care. Care has a multitude of duties. Each different person in each different environment gives you a different kind of routine, so it is varied in that way. Disability support workers aren't superhuman. They're real people just like you. That means there are times when the work can seem a little frustrating. Being a care aide, you have to be comfortable with the people you're seeing and visiting, and they have to be comfortable with you. And if you're not, then it doesn't work. Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes you hear what's said very easily, sometimes you don't, but you always get through it. <laughs> Come on, you. As I became more secure in myself, I found it easier to actually deal with the challenges as they came up. You deal, sometimes you handle them really well and sometimes you don't. And if you have a good supportive um, management team behind you, um, they will help you through that. Meeting those challenges is part of the reason why disability support workers enjoy such high levels of job satisfaction. <laughs> they feel appreciated for what they do in a work environment that provides ongoing opportunities to learn new and useful things. People that don't have this, like the necessary skills, like don't be discouraged from applying for a job because a lot of places will actually train you like, on the job. It's a big commitment, but it's also um, a fantastic opportunity for anybody that wants to join this, this kind of profession. It's an amazing feeling, just seeing what you can do to make that difference. As a disability support worker, you'll enjoy a career that delivers immense personal satisfaction, and you'll make a real and lasting difference in the lives of the people you support. This is about supporting the decisions that they make and uh, supporting their dreams and their achievements. Definitely have to be compassionate, hardworking. You definitely need to have a sense of humour. Is this what you want to do? Are you dedicated enough to do this? Am I capable of looking after this person? You've got to be very sure that this is what you want. Although there are responsibilities that come with the job, the responsibilities are far outweighed by the enjoyment you'll find from their eyes and from your input. Get out there and, and do it because you'll realise there are so many benefits to it. Not only will you help other people's lives but you'll really extend yourself and you'll be surprised how much you can do and you'll be surprised at how much of a better person you can be by going out and helping people that are in need.